Hello everyone, I'm Ashi Taksena and today I will be talking about the new WhatsApp privacy policy. Basically, in this video, we will understand that what are the new updates which the WhatsApp has introduced and how it is affecting our privacy, our right to privacy, that is our fundamental right. And if we don't accept these updates, what will be its consequences? So let's first understand and see, like when we open a WhatsApp, Okay, chat box. The first thing we see is in small letters, what is written that it is end-to-end -end encrypted. Now, what is that? What is the meaning of it? Basically, it means that WhatsApp do not have access to our private chats, location, or photos. So, any chat or any things which we are sharing, it is between the one I am uh, sending it to and the one who is receiving it. So WhatsApp do not have information about it. This is, I'm talking about the private chats, not about the groups. Now, if we see the current update, okay, what it says that, that in this current update, WhatsApp is enabling that any person who is having business conversations, okay, right, right now if we see there are many people who are using WhatsApp as a medium to run their business or to chat about their business. So WhatsApp has, will have information about such conversation. It can see, it can listen that what they are, uh, what they are chatting, what they are sharing with each other for their business and it can use it and share it with the Facebook. So this is the new update, which will be affecting the business class people or people who are doing their business with the help of WhatsApp or using WhatsApp to run their business. So it will be affecting them. And obviously it will affect, be affecting their right to privacy also. If we see what is right to privacy, Basically, it has been given the status of fundamental right in our country. Under Article 21, I to privacy is also a fundamental right. And it was given the status in the case of K.S. Puttuswami versus Union of India. Now, recently, a PIL has been filed by one Harsha Gupta, who is an advocate as well as an educationalist. Now, what she is saying that it is affecting our right to privacy. It is against the laws, against the IT laws, that is Information Technology Act 2000. Now, how it is against the IT laws? If we see, there is a section in it, that is section 43A, which states that all these corporate bodies or institutions who have information or personal details about the people, Okay, so it is their duty to protect them. Okay, it is their duty that it should not be leaked. Okay, it should not be hacked by any people because they have the information about the people, about their personal details. And if they are sharing it with anyone else, they are violating the provision that is section 43A and punishment should be provided to such people. So what was said in this PIL that it is against our IT laws also under section 43A. And also in March 2020, it was seen an inquiry was made by the Competition Commission of India that these policies uh, uh, that is run by the WhatsApp is also against the Competition Act 2000. And after doing this full inquiry, it was held that WhatsApp, these policy of WhatsApp are against Section 4 of the Competition Act 2000. So there are many laws. It is this these new WhatsApp policy are it needs to be understand. It needs to be determined how our privacy is affected. I hope now every one of you have understood that uh, how it is affecting our privacy. What is our privacy? What are our privacy law? Why we are giving so much importance to this privacy thing? Now we will understand that what will happen if we don't accept these new updates. Okay, so basically those people who have still not updated or accepted these policies, they must be getting continuous reminders or notification from WhatsApp that please update your WhatsApp or please accept these uh, policies or agree and everything. Now, those who have not done it, it must be coming continuously.
Now, what WhatsApp is saying that it will not immediately block the uh, uh, block the whole account or freeze the account. They will send continuous reminders to those people who have not still accepted this new policy. But after some time, after again and again sending these reminders, then also if they don't accept it, then obviously they will block the that person's access to the chat list and. Uh, Obviously, you can make calls. The calls will be coming. They can pick up the calls, but they will not be having access to the chat box. Again, they will send the reminders. And after uh, sending them again, if they don't access, then they will block the access to do the calls. Or then after some time again. So there will be step by step. They will be blocking some part of that account. But right now, what the government is saying that WhatsApp should make amendments in their policy as it is against the privacy policy of the country. It is affecting the privacy of the people. So they should make certain amendments in it. Recently, WhatsApp filed an affidavit also that uh, if those who do not want to accept it, they cannot accept it. It is up to them. We are not uh, uh, pressurizing anyone to accept our terms and conditions and everything. As they also indicated, there are many other uh, apps also who are having these information and they are not taking any permission or something. They are sharing it with other people. So at least we are telling people that we might be sharing with, with other people so please give access to us so all these things are there again and again daily there are new information new changes in the case that has been filed center is also uh, seeing that how it will be affecting how it is dangerous to us how it is dangerous or how it will be affecting the people so we will continue with this and we will be discussing about it again and again as the changes comes in it. I hope this video was helpful to all of you and you will think about it, whether to accept it or not. And to those who have already accepted, it is not of much harm. But yes, those who are running their business, it is affected. So let's see, let's think. I hope this video will be helpful to all of you. For more of such updates, please stay tuned. Thank you.